Because you're hungry. Do you want to go get food? Do you? Yeah. Let's go. Hi. Oh, that was such a clean opening. That never happens. Ready? By the way, it says, pause off. It's Kessie's. Chamberlain coffee check. Hi. You excited? Yeah? I might make um, iced coffees because if you're gonna make a Chamberlain coffee, might as well do it right, you know? Our sweets cup, pink cup, Starbucks cup, and free doggy cup. that there so let it thaw a little bit and I'm just using soy milk from Aldi, Yup Aldi. I guess. Always rinse out your curtains before recycling them. Oh yeah and the wrappers can be um, composted as well which I love. So I'll be fair. Why didn't I put the lights on from the start? Oh, it's not so good. Okie dokie. Early bird one, social dog, night owl, and Curtis cat. So they're all lined up so I don't get confused. Cause you wanna be in it? Come here. Come in there. Smile, you're a camera. So, we are gathered here today to taste Emma Chamberlain's Chamberlain Coffee brand. Look, look how cute these are. So colorful, so fun. I love it, I'm so impressed with the new packaging and stuff. Remember I actually filmed a video when I got her first load of it? I'll insert some clips here if they're funny or if they're too embarrassing, I won't do that. Ooh, it already smells nice. Uh -huh. Okay, not a good idea, not a good idea, not a good idea. I was trying to be funny and make it look like it was raining in my Chamberlain coffees, but then I don't want to end up standing on in the bags and ruining them. So let's start with the one that has the least amount of caffeine in it, which is Careless Cat, which is this over here. Give it a little shake. Okay, so this is a medium roast, smooth and warm. Caffeine strength is two and a half coffee beans out of five. Okay, let's taste it. Oh, very smooth. Oh my God. And it actually is smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Easy going down. No like bitter taste at all. Lovely. That is nice. Smooth does taste smooth. Warm, apart from it being a nice coffee, I suppose it does taste warm because it's like easy to go down. It's like comforting. It's like, like there's no like, like on the aftertaste. I don't know. Hopefully I'm explaining this good, but like definitely like I could easily drink all of that. Beautiful. Let me have one more sip. It's a good coffee for the morning. Oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna move on. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a good coffee for the morning, but um, uh, it's very warm, even though there's ice cubes in it, so. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, yeah, and shut up, move on. It's five minutes in and you're still only talking about the first one. Oops. Second up at three coffee beans. See the little three beans over there? Three out of five. Is the beautiful Night Owl Blend. <laughs> night Owl Blend. Night, night Owl Blend. It's a blend, Night Owl. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, she needs some penguin coffee. Wait, why was I gonna open the box? Oh my god, am I okay? I think it's because I haven't had coffee yet, and like this is my first sips of coffee, so my brain is like still all mumbo jumbo and still not working. Right, so this is the tasting notes are dark roast, creamy, and rich. They're not really things you can taste though. Well, I suppose you can, like, creamy is kind of a texture, and rich, I suppose rich might be a taste, is it? I don't know. Like, you just say, like, oh, that cake was very rich, like, it's very heavy. Oh, there is a bit of a kick on this, like, in the background. It's not, like, the initial taste, but it's, like, when you're taking your second gulp, you can kind of feel it, like, at your throat. The kind of, like, bitteriness, not, not exactly on the taste buds, if that's even possible. I don't know. It is actually more coffee beany. Let me taste the Careless Cat one again. Yeah, that's not as coffee beany. Like this one, you can actually taste the beans and I love that. It must be because it's the dark roast. Rich, actually, yeah, that would probably make sense too because it is kind of like richer, more strong, more coffee beany. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How am I going to pick between one of these? Oh, like, oh, it's going to be so hard. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Amazing. Amazing. Just saying. Dog blend. This one is four beans out of five. Medium roast, velvety, sweet. Ooh. It is actually kind of sweet. Doesn't taste like any other coffees I know. Like compared to the Night Owl one. That one doesn't have a bitter aftertaste at all. Or like the throat thing that I think it was. Actually, I think that was this one too. That's mad that this doesn't taste as strong as this. But yeah, this is, it says caffeine strength, four out of five beans. And this one's only three out of five. So it mustn't be that the caffeine strength goes along the same lines as the, like the roast strength, like medium dark roast. Cause I thought light roasts has the least caffeine. Medium roast has average caffeine. And then like dark roasts has the most caffeine, like the strongest. <clears throat> Excuse me. God, now I know why Emma Chamberlain's always burping in her videos. <laughs> What's in these beans? <laughs> and then the last one is... Oh my God, five out of five beans. Five out of five. Five out of five. Cassie, do you want to come back over? Yay. Oh. I just hit myself in the tooth. We can taste the beans in this one too. Well, I suppose it'd be good if you could taste the beans in the whole one because they're all coffee, but like... This one's light roast. Light roast, bright and sweet. Bright? How can a coffee be bright? It's like the rich one. It's like, mm, she rich, she got money. <laughs> Ooh, that one is like, very like, poppy or something. I don't know. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Maybe the caffeine's starting to hit. How is it a light roast, but then it has five out of five coffee beans? Unless they're just different beans, like the different brand of beans. Here, do you want a cushion? <gasps> cozy! Cozy! Yay! Oh, now you have a cushion to lean on. There you go. No. Look at you all toasty and tucked in. Cozy! Do you know what I'm gonna do? Oh wait, no, I was gonna say mix them up and then see if I can taste which one it is, but then I might get confused. They do all kind of taste similar in a way though. It's like usual. You can kind of tell that they're all from the same brand. I don't know if that's a thing with coffees. Although maybe it is though, cause like when you go to Costa and you get like a Costa coffee, like you can taste the difference between like a Costa coffee and a Starbucks coffee. So it would make sense that you can taste the difference between a Chamberlain coffee and like a Costa or a Starbucks. But yeah, like I like them all as a group. Like I don't know if I'd be able to just pick one. On easy to drinkness, I think it's between this early bird one. Oh. 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 It's weird that the early bird says sweet and the careless cat one doesn't because, okay, I have to let her go because she's growling at me. Give me 
about to leave the door open a little bit for her. If she just comes straight back in, I swear to God. Maybe I should have had the light on. Oh, I watched the Billie Eilish uh, documentary last night. So good. I got the free trial on Apple TV for seven days. So, yeah, it was so good. Oh, now, 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 mom. Now Kelsey's scratching at the sitting room door to go into mom and dad. She's probably just afraid since this box fell on the floor. She's scared very easily. And then once something goes wrong, she's like, no, nope, I'm out, bitch, see ya. Maybe it's because she's so small. I feel like this is such a shit coffee review video. I do like them all. Cause like they're way smoother than like Starbucks and Costa Coffee, in my opinion. Like I feel like they're all easy to go down. And none of them are like, oh, that is like so strong. I have nothing bad to say about them. Shipping was really easy because I got them from the EU website. And I love everything Emma Chamberlain does. So I love supporting her whenever I can basically. And me and her have one massive thing in common. We both love coffee. So, and the packaging is so cute. God, I'm so burpy ever since drinking this coffee. <laughs> I'd literally give them all a 10 out of 10. Like literally like 10 out of 10, what I would recommend. Like literally. Like they're so good. I am gonna be buzzed. It's already kind of kicking in. I love the packaging, like it's all recyclable. I love that, I love that for her. I love what she stands for. I love the brand and everything it stands for. It's so just like positive and green and healthy and like eco-friendly. Fair trade, USDA organic, like amazing. Steeped packs and filters are commercially compostable and made with renewable materials. Ooh, this box is made with 100% recycled materials. Amazing. Single serve Chamberlain steeped coffee bags are filled with 100% specialty coffee. Every bag is nitro sealed inside packaging that's fully compostable and made using renewable materials, making every cup eco-friendly. These bags require no machine and are filled with delicious, fresh roasted coffee. Simply open the sustainable packaging for a single serving of pre-ground, pre-dosed specialty coffee. Just add water and enjoy. Amazing. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a new trick I do now since um, COVID's a thing. I sneeze into my shirt. Where's Colombia? I thought that was a state in America. Maybe there's two. I need to move my leg because I'm getting pins and needles. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else more to say. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Toodles. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight. All nighter. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Bye, bitch. <laughs>